released it in the theater in the U.S. It just got dumped on the Netflix everywhere else. Mm-hmm. So I, I think that that really hurt their their box office. I don't know if they thought it was a bad movie. But I know that um, who released it? I mean, Paramount. Uh, Paramount. Okay. Paramount. Yeah. But that was that was disappointing to to hear that because it's it's so good and it's such a visual movie. Oh yeah. Like you were saying. And especially uh, like the the climax of the film with the doppelganger when they're in the lighthouse. Yes, is yeah. what I think is like very two thousand and one, mm-hmm. where it's just really trippy. Yes, and uh, very visual, but there's no dialogue. The score is awesome in it, mm-hmm. and uh, I wish more people had seen it. And more people talked about it. Yeah. I know it came out. God, February. It came out like yeah. early in the year. Yeah, yeah. It was like a beginning of the year film. Which that's a bummer too. I wish it was released, you know, closer into the fall when mm-hmm. more people might actually pay attention. So January's not really a good year for movies, is it? January, January, January February. Right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I heard. Yeah, uh, January. The all the the new movies that are released are usually stuff that they don't have a whole lot of confidence in. Okay. Because you're still coming off the holidays. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times January's uh, when all the movies that came out at the end of the year that were just limited release mm-hmm. get a wider release. Oh, gotcha. So a lot of people are paying attention to that. It's also a uh, award season. Yeah. So they're they're watching movies from twenty or from the previous year yeah. in January. But it's for original movies or movies that New movies, it's usually a dumping ground. Oh, yeah, okay, gotcha. Like uh, a lot of uh, really low budget horror movies or mm-hmm. you know shitty comedies usually come out in uh, January. It's not until like mid February when they start releasing some bigger, yeah, some bigger movies. Yeah, it's on. It's I believe it's on Netflix now, right? Probably, probably because that's I feel like it is. that's who has the rights to it okay. now. Okay. But I just know that Paramount released it here. So were they... Everywhere else was Netflix. Were they teaming up? Was it kind of like a... No, it was Paramount movie that I think they just dumped. Hmm. Okay. That for some reason they had no confidence in it. You sold it to Netflix or something? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's definitely a good movie. If anyone listening hasn't seen it, should really check it out. I recommend it highly, yeah. Especially, if it ended up uh, online since it was... You know, dumped uh, over like mm-hmm. in London and everywhere, so people could watch it over here on uh, streaming it for free, and so that hurt people going. And, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. they didn't go see it in the theater, but that's a film that commands you to see it on oh, yeah. the big screen. And that's one one thing. I, sorry, I mean, and one thing I hate about there's so many people now that that I don't go to the movies a lot, but when I do, they're like, "Oh, you want to watch the movie at my house? Like, I can stream it on this website." We can watch it, and I'm like, it's in. It just came out in theaters, you know. Don't you want to go experience this movie in the way it's supposed to be experienced? <clears throat> People, no, I'm not going to waste ten dollars. You can watch it for free on my TV. I'm like, yeah, but you don't have a nice. There's no nice to me, like you know, sound system. Mm-hmm. And, you know, this screen's a forty inch TV. Not to shit on anyone who has a forty inch TV, but I'm just saying, you know, no, the experience. No, and we got into this last week when I was talking about like why Netflix bugs me because there's so many movies coming out that I would love to see in the theater. Yeah, you know, and that I don't want to watch it on at home on the TV, no matter how big the TV is, because yeah. it's not the size of a movie theater. And mm-hmm. there's some movies that you need to see in the theater that are more of an experience with the, the good screen and good mm-hmm. uh, good picture quality and the sound quality and just watching a movie at home like on the couch it's not the same yeah and I, I realize that I can say that because I can get free movies wherever <laughs> I go yeah given, given my profession but watching a movie in the theater to me is a lot better than watching it at home watching it at home yeah Nice. And Natalie Portman. Yes. Amazing. She's awesome in this movie. I don't think that that movie gets enough credit for being a, like, 90% female cast. Yeah. It's pretty, yeah. Either. It's very progressive. Yeah. And then um, there's a lot of different elements of genres and subgenres being used, you know, with the hard sci-fi mm-hmm. body horror. Yeah, but it's yeah. also a good horror movie, yes. too, and it has probably what I thought was the scariest Fucking moment 
bear. Oh, yeah, the bear. That fucking bear, man. Yeah. That shit was wild. That that was <laughs> that was something that was terrifying. Yes. And then the sound that it was making. And how it can mimic the sound the design. People. The sound oh my god, yeah. yes. Just in the movie in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then my sister was like Oh, is that is that movie good? Because she wanted to go watch it. And I said, "Oh, it's amazing, and it, it's good sci-fi and good horror, and it has probably what I think is the scariest part that yeah. I've seen in a long time." Yeah. I didn't like it. She said that she said it wasn't scary at all. She's like, well, "Are you talking about that part with the bear?" And I said, "Yeah." She's like, "That's not that scary." And I said, "It's not like a jump scare." We got into this when we talked about Hereditary. It's not about a jump scare. It's about it's like, what, what's gonna like. It's like a build-up in the dark. Yeah, like, three weeks. Like not and knowing what's exposed. Yeah, like yeah. bone. It's like, and then he's merging with the the plants or whatever. Yeah, and uh, I was like, that part was terrifying. Those people. There was like the statues. No, they weren't statues, but they were just like they looked like hedge. Like yeah, hedges hedge of figures. like people. Yeah, you know? it was that was crazy. So I would I would agree with you, James. Annihilation. That's that's a movie that I, I highly recommend and is probably my favorite movie of the year. Based have on to a say novel, so too. right? Yeah, it's based on a novel. Yeah. Are they doing any? Are they going to continue it? No, I know that the novel is a trilogy. It's just a one-off. For, but for... I know that Alex Gar- Garland said that he was just doing the first one and he wasn't even really going to follow the book. To the T. To the to the T. He was just kind of. This was his interpretation of the book. Because I think when he got his hands on it, it wasn't published yet. I think it was uh, still a manuscript. And he said, "I'm going to read it." And he talked to the pulled, author, pulled stuff, inspiration, yeah, and just said, "This is my interpretation of the manuscript." Okay. And I have no, I have no intentions of making the trilogy. I just want to do this as a standalone, and it's a good standalone because it does end on kind of a, an ambiguous, yeah, an ambiguous note, which you don't. I don't need two other movies to tell me like what happened after that. <laughs> True. Yeah. It ends on, on a very uh, uh, good scene. Check out Annihilation. I think it's oh, yeah. you can probably pick up the Blu-ray for ten bucks. Yeah, I think it's pretty cheap. I think, yeah, I, think I got it for about ten, which is crazy. Already, yeah, already ten dollars. What's next, guys? Wesley, you got a pick? <clears throat> was there something that really stood out to you, or was annihilation it? For, um, well, that's a big one. <laughs> I mean, I know that we got like a, a list of movies that we you know we've all discussed. Yeah. Prior to recording. So, since we're going into um, kind of the more obscure stuff, mm-hmm. let me give a shout out to uh, you were never really here. Yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah. With, did you uh, watch that, James? I did. You okay? Yeah. Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. It's uh, you can stream it right now on Prime, I believe. If you yeah, have you can. Amazon Prime. Um, Good Johnny it? Greenwood score. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I picked. I got that on vinyl. Ah, I remember you saying that. Very, very uh, dark, mm-hmm. gripping stuff. Yeah. But that was. That was one I think I watched on your recommendation. I think I saw a trailer and wanted to see it. Mm-hmm. And you had seen it in Los Angeles, right? The Arclight? Yeah, I got to see uh, the premiere or whatever. And you told me to check it out, and I was able to catch it like the week or two after that. Is that when you got to see all the, like, there was like props yeah, and stuff? There was yeah, a, they, they had the like, hammer the lobby. Mm-hmm. All in awesome. the, under, yeah, the glass. I have pictures of all that stuff. It's. it's I remember seeing the videos on your uh, Instagram. Yeah. I... I was stoked. That's awesome. Yeah, that's <laughs> to really be cool. in town, you know, to be in the city mm-hmm. when that movie was playing and being able to see it in the big, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was something special, man. And it's a good performance from Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. Because he's, uh, for a while, he was just doing kind of not that, not bad stuff, but I don't, how do you say, supporting actor mm-hmm. uh, type role. So it was fun to see him kind of dive into you know something that we really haven't seen him done and at least in in a really long time yeah you know and it's very drive-esque mm-hmm. which of yeah. course yes. you, the hammer. yeah you can't you can't <laughs> yeah. not love that <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> you know um but it was it was kind of cool because he did this thing and he kind of got himself into something bigger mm-hmm. yeah by accident yeah it was an accident yeah. the whole thing was just like oh shit now there's these guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that was that was one I really enjoyed. So thank you for the recommendation. Yeah. Of course, thank you for awesome. um, listening to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know that's always awesome. 
I think I actually had quite why well, after I finished I actually texted you. We had a big uh, conversation. A little Twitter, uh, not Twitter, uh, text conversation. People's theories were making him second guess the film and saying that he didn't really like it as much as he thought. And James, that was you. You were yeah. saying you didn't like it as much. Or? Yeah, but you know, because I was, I was people like, were I was overthinking. After I had watched the movie, I was like, oh, like I want to see what other people thought. And then I was watching like, YouTube videos and stuff of like reviews and whatever, and what they were saying about the movie was like starting to confuse me. And I was like, "Wait, did I like did, did they watch the same movie I watched?" And like, I, and then I was like, "Yeah, Wes, I'm confused. Like, so did this? Like, so what happened? Like, is this what happened?" And and he was like, "No, no, no. Like, what the fuck are those people talking about?" Like, well, there was this one thing that I can remember. There was a theory that. Supposedly, you remember. I don't know if I can say it without killing a big plot point. Uh, spoiler alert for this movie. Uh, skip ahead it, a couple it came minutes. Out a while ago. Okay. Well, when something happens to something happens to his mom. Yeah. And uh, somebody on YouTube was saying that. Oh, they're saying that because uh, when he he she was watching um, Psycho, and then they were saying that oh. Uh, uh, that those hitmen that came in and, and did something to his mom, that they were never really there and that was in his imagination mm-hmm. and that he had killed his mom because she sexually abused him as a kid. That was a big theory and I'm just like... <laughs> and there, I, I think it was fuck? just people reading too much and that she was watching Psycho. <laughs> yeah. And so they're like, oh, like... Right. That, she, was, that was an interesting and, yeah. giving, giving a shout out to a cool movie. Yeah. 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 And not... That's what I had thought at first that. and then I was, you know listening to these people talk and I was like oh I guess that kind of makes sense and I'm like I'm kind of confused about the movie now <laughs> I'm like so then I'm like so what's did this stuff really happen that really bothered me because it was like he was it kind of ruined the movie yeah or it was letting him not I don't know how to explain it it was weird yeah but no that that film is very visual and it kind of gives you it lays out everything for you in front of your face mm-hmm. you know it's a it, good small gritty thriller mm-hmm. yeah there's like not well there is substance but it's like there's not very much dialogue it's no. just and that's and that's what makes the movie work is yeah. the the security not a lot scenes of dialogue. the scenes where it's just him in the security uh, when you're seeing through the security video oh, when he as walks he's walking through the, the like house. taking yeah. out the the guards and stuff mm-hmm. I thought that scene was so awesome that was just i mean that was Good editing. Yes, <laughs> and he's not talking the whole time. You know, it's just him just walking up, bashing people. He doesn't heads really in. talk much. Yeah, not really. Here or there. <laughs> but I mean, little, little grunts. You know, yeah, stuff. I thought that scene was really cool. And that's I remember after I watched, it, I was like, wait, like when he confronts them, or when he, the guy comes to get him in the hotel room, did he get shot in the face? Because then he's kind of like mumbling. Yeah, half when his they dialogue. when they shoot up, it goes through, and that's why he pulls his tooth out. Okay. It's not very clear, but if you go back and watch it again, yeah, he gets shot because it goes through his yeah. gum. Okay, I didn't know if he just got like his jaw busted or if he no, actually he gets, he gets popped did in, get in the jaw. Yeah. Okay. Because that's why he's slurring for a yeah. while. Yeah. He's talking, yeah, yeah. He's like has like he, something in his mouth. He's got a jawbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> Ed and Nitty style. <laughs> yeah. So that's. Yeah, you were never really. You were never really here. 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 Yep. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Blind Spotting. That I don't know if you saw it, James. Oh, I actually got it as a gift for uh, Christmas. I haven't watched it yet. Watch. Really? That's a movie I actually wanted to uh, watch get. it. That was really yeah. good. That was a small release. I don't know if enough people were had seen it or were talking about it, but that was one of my favorite movies of the year. That uh, David Diggs, mm-hmm. who is so good in it as a guy that's like on his last few days of, of oh, parole, probation, right? Yeah, and has to be good. And his best friend is like the world's biggest fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> and is. Like, the one that's probably going to get him in trouble again. That's what intrigued me so much about the movie. I mean, just reading that a little bit about that, and I was like, oh, man, that sounds like a really good one. Did you see who the cop is? I, I don't. I haven't seen it. Well, you've seen the trailer, right? Uh, yeah, but, I mean, I saw the trailer when the movie first came out, so I, I don't remember. I think it's I've seen a, the trailer one time. Ethan Embry from Devil's Candy. So oh, I just is it? it funny. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I just thought it was ironic nice. because you, yeah, you yeah. picked that movie. And then you surprised <laughs> that I picked that movie? Have you seen it? Uh, blind spotting? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I did. And 
the, the two of them are, are best friends going way back, so yeah. their chemistry on screen is incredible mm-hmm. with one another. And uh, that's been... That's so they're, they're actually, yeah, they're, actually yeah, they're, friends. Yeah, they're...